Welcome to a video from ZigiesLife.com. In this video, I'm going to have a look at something slightly different than I usually look at. I usually look at Windows 10 builds, new builds uh, of what's coming. I'm going back in time here now to 2004, and I'm going to look at a build of Windows Longhorn. Well, Longhorn was the planned successor for Windows XP. It was an ambitious project, bring new file system, new I, lots of new development methods, from .NET Framework into Windows, and it proved to be uh, too ambitious and uh, from 2001 to 2004 the development was in process and then at 2004 Microsoft reset the whole project kind of starting from scratch based off the Windows 2003 server code base. So that means that after the reset they started on a new Longhorn project which became Windows Vista but really Longhorn is these uh, developments I'm going to be showing you now and this build as I've got here which I'm going to start off here is the last build before the development was reset. So what can I show you in this build? Well here you see the, the start menu, it's slightly different to XP, you've got the no start written on there. And here you'll see one of the main features of Long Home is the sidebar. But the sidebar has these tiles which you can choose. I won't do the display one because it crashes the user profile and you have to create a new user profile to get it back. But you can see here I've got Windows Media Player. I seem to have three of them. Let's get two of them. There we go. I've got a Windows Media Player bar and I've got the old style um, tray that would normally at the bottom. And it's not here now. It's moved up to here. I've got a search box so I can do search. I'll show you that in a second. Some pop up notifications. I think that's the. There you go. There's all the notifications. Um, and the long horn clock. So some of this made it into this, but not all of it. Notice this theme here. We've got, if I open a browser page with this big banner at the top, this is called Slate. And there was another one that was called Jade. Uh, I'll switch that over. And you can see that no arrow in this build. They did have arrows at various builds, but not in in this build. Um, display settings, you see, I used the standard one there, but that's this nice. So this is the Avalon-based display panel. You can see uh, display settings. So this was this new style of UI that they were introducing into Longhorn. You had things like refresh rates, magical one hertz there. You change the colours. Some of the things change it back to the um, presentation mode. This was a new thing, so you could do presentations. I think this works kind of a networking thing where you can pr present to multiple devices, something I don't remember being in Vista and not implemented yet. But you can see the kind of thing that they were doing. This you've got a screen saver, it takes back to the, sort of the classic properties, and there's just the standard long haul one on there. There were some other bits and pieces of hidden apps as well. Uh, they're not a lot on the start menu, but you had things like I can run the media player, which was called MX Player. You can see that on there. Um, I think it's a version of Windows Media Player 6. Let's have a look. Okay, can't do much with that. Uh, I did want to show you the WinVer as well while I'm on here. There you can see the build from 2004, probably August 2004. There were some other, um, oh there you go, Explorer's crashed, and it'll come back. So you notice these massive sort of borders that you get on the top here, and you get it the same with uh, documents. So there's documents with the big borders on there, and photos and videos is combined into this one sort of player, I guess you could say it's a player and you had uh, contacts, you could create contacts on there and there's contacts and you add games which has got some interesting things like online gameplay through Windows Messenger I think obviously that's not going to work now uh, the music one which had this like music player and the computer one so there's your computer. Um, so by the time you've got these giant title bars, sidebars, and you've got this small window down here. Um, you also have this one as well, which is kind of like the device and printers in later versions of Windows. You can see all the hardware on there. All these you can add to your favorites. And 
so any time you could get a favourite. So you can see a the new style of notifications that was in there. This is actually saying the, the DVD or the CD, so the CD is, is running low on space. I think that's a bug, it's, it's a CD, so it's just fixed size, so we can ignore that one. I think it treats the CDs as hard disk for some reason. Just another, another bug. You had this control panel, this new style control panel. Uh, with parental controls in here, something that made it into Vista. I don't think it was in XP, so you could get, allow your child to maybe have a, a user account that wasn't an admin account, and you could perhaps set game ratings. Because I did notice that in the games, there's some parental controls in there, so I guess you can set ratings and games and things like that. Parental controls is a thing in Vista, but not in Windows XP, as far as I remember. Uh, so you can see the user account screen. I better close some windows before this all collapses into a heap. There is another application I wanted to show you that is actually gives you an idea of what they were aiming for and perhaps why it never arrived. But in program files, there's a application called Movie Maker 3. And Movie Maker came with XP and came with Vista, but the one that came with Vista was actually based off the XP one. This is a rewrite one from the ground up using Avalon. And it's not fully featured by any stretch at all. In fact, it just about works. But it does give you an idea of the kind of user interface feel that they were going for. Here you can see um, this is all written in Avalon. It, it should be resizable. Let's give that a try and see if it is, because it's supposed to dynamically resize almost like a modern UWP app. I can't actually get my mouse cursor on that. There we go. Oh, boom, there it goes, it pops and disappears. So you can see that um, it's very buggy. But the idea with this is you, you, you make your own move, you, you did the old movie maker thing, and uh, it was should have had more features than the XP version and the, uh, the Vista version. So you see, it's early days, and they were just, I mean, it's unfair to judge it from this, they were just uh, developing the the operating system at the time when this got cancelled but I guess what's happened is this is the last building just throwing everything into there so what else can I show you yeah so things on the sidebar here we've got a screen a slideshow we can show you we could have on there I've got images on here let's close movie maker down um, let's show you the old control delete you can see there you go, see there's the uh, screen where you can uh, control delete and log off. Let's just go back to the operating system. Oh, there's the parent. I was looking in the wrong place. So there's parental controls uh, that I was trying to launch before. So you can create a new account and you can create an admin account or a normal user account on here and uh, give it sort of some parental controls on here so uh, we could create an account and you can give it a limited user account kind of a bit way that the um, elevated privileges work in Vista and beyond Windows 10 that's where this came from so what happened after the after this, well, after this, the reset built went back to Windows uh, Server 2003 so, as a platform and built what became Vista. And some of the features made it, some of them didn't. I've got some earlier builds of this, and this has got and it's got really different start menus, a sort of a bluey grey start menu. I can't get that one working at the moment. And I have got a build post reset, which I'll probably do on another video. Actually, what I have got is more interesting is a project called Windows Neptune, which was the replacement for Windows 2000 for consumers before XP came out and it was cancelled and to and later what became XP it was around the Windows Millennium time so I'll show you that on another video so if you've got any questions let me know you can leave a comment or you can follow me on Twitter at ISDix and if there's any operating systems you think I should be running or do a video of let me know um, you can see it on if I fire up my Hyper-V there you can see I'm running on the latest 20H1 builds all the way back to Windows 1. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you on the next one.